All right, guys, it is Bradley. We are back in the video. I'm gonna do a quick, um, I guess, walkthrough on um, taking apart the Brew Tools three-way valve. So before I did it, I wanna make sure I had the new um, rebuild kit. Um, so it's here, so you guys can see it here on camera. Um, look, it's got some O-rings. Um, uh, I guess these are, uh, these are Teflon, I'm assuming. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Um, uh, all the seals and stuff are there, so that's great. So, yeah, let's get this thing apart. Uh, there's a couple Allen um, set screws here on the handle. So let's back those off. And there we go, a little tight. You just back those off, I'm assuming, like any other kind of set screw. And then... Uh, take a just a crescent because I'm a gorilla whatever you guys call it actually I'm gonna do this off camera real quick I'm gonna break them all loose a little hard to do uh, that far out in front of me all right okay so these guys are loose um, so now that we're back here let's just uh, All right, that's the top of the handle off. Um, so there's one more seal up here on this guy. And uh, technical names of these parts, uh, that wasn't very tight. I, uh, I don't know what they would be called. But let's just take that loose. Apologize for the poor camera work. So I got these loose. So there's one coming off. Oof. Oh, oh man, it's a little crusty in there actually. I swear I usually uh, clean my system. Mm -mm. Oh man, I don't know if it's coming up, but there are some bits and pieces in this one. This is the valve I have, uh, I guess on the intake side of everything. So it's one of the valves. This looks like it's three quarter um, uh, pipe thread. Wondering if you could adapt this to three quarter and go to something else. But you'd want to have a nice surface where you could push on um, that Teflon piece. I'm assuming that's Teflon. If it's not, someone who knows, correct me. Um, ooh, man. <laughs> There's some, we might have a specimen growing in there. Wow. That's, uh, that's pretty nasty. Yeah, I don't know if I should be embarrassed or not. Um, anyhow, moving forward. Let's, uh, sorry, I'm a little caught off by that. Let's pull this top one off here. And we go. And I'm not going to replace these parts. They're all fine. Uh, I've got no issues uh, with this valve. Huh. It must be pressed in there pretty good. So, how do we get this apart? Okay. So there's the ball. Uh, you can't see that camera. It looks like it's a little notch in there. And ooh, look at that, like a hunk of grain or something. That's nasty. Let's just try and be gentle. I don't want to break it. So there's the, the ball out. Uh, I guess this piece that goes in the back. This wasn't included in the kit. I guess uh, they don't think this one will wear out. I know there's a big debate whether or not... Uh, Oof, PBW um, is going to chew up your valve or not. Um, I'm going to keep using it, I suppose. Uh, so yeah, what the inside of the valves looks like. Um, that's kind of the, the bulk of the pieces. Sorry, my hands are nasty. At least this stuff doesn't stink, so hopefully there's no bugs growing. Um, but yeah, so this guy isn't in the kit. It must just be like the back seal or whatever that that ball... Um, rides on um let's see if we can get this one out there's one more this guy is so it looks like the o-rings and the seals for the ports or whatever we'll call it that seal to the ball are uh, in there and this guy is directional right so there's a it's not showing up there we go a little bit of a bevel where that ball sits in it so when you put it back you're going to want to get it back that way 
Uh, let's see if we can get this guy out. Oh, yeah, it pushes right out. The stem or whatever we'll call it. Some O-rings. Ooh, that's a shitload of O-rings in there. Pardon my language. Um, so there it is. It's torn apart. Uh, really easy, actually. Um, it's a little dirty. <laughs> I might put this into a, you know, maintenance. I'm, you know, I keep my stuff clean. Um, but I'll probably be checking all the valves now and at least hosing them out, uh, trying to clean them up. Um, so I have around here near me. Sorry, guys, fumbling around off camera. Perfect. There it is. Got my trusty, uh, sprayer of star sand always around. So yeah, this is a, it's making a mess. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to clean all this crap, come back and, uh, we'll throw it back together real quick and it should be great. We'll be right back once I'm done with the nastiness stuff. All right. So we are back. Um, cleaning the pieces was super easy. Uh, and this guy looks like it just probably got uh, crushed on there as part of fitting. So I don't want to disturb it. Um, I kind of want to keep my kit because I just got one of them for backup. I clean the rest of my valves or if I need something. Uh, yeah, I want to keep it because I only got one. Next order, I'll probably get another one just to have it. But I guess we'll try and put this guy back together. It is interesting that that port is definitely smaller. So, But I guess uh, if you look at the... Uh, inside diameter of like a dip tube, it's pretty um, similar. So it probably doesn't matter. So put the ball in and this guy. And I just have that ball on my finger. I've never done this, but it seems like, uh, like that's how it should go. And uh, yeah, that's how it goes. Um, I did grab some of the silicone uh, lube. Just a tiny bit, um, or excuse me, the, whatever that lube is that the the guys have now um, on the O-rings on this guy, because that is a snug, snug fit, and I'd hate to be in my brood day and have a, uh, a leaky valve. So this is a little bit harder to do on camera. I will admit then it's probably advised <laughs> but uh if you guys have watched me do anything uh you should know that it's it's probably not advised so ooh that's snug let me uh kind of get that on there we'll line up there's a groove here we'll pull the whole thing out there's a groove on that ball um, that the stem kind of that actuates this guy hooks to. So we'll make sure that we get that in there. And then uh, the top groove here and this groove kind of match. So at least you can, you know, um, get yourself uh, somewhat lined up. Which, uh, this is a little, like I said, sorry for the video, a lot of fumbling around, but it's not, uh, not crazy easy, but I did it, you know, um, obviously much easier to do if you are, uh, not looking through camera or looking off to the side and trying to make sure that you're showing what you're trying to do with your giant sausage fingers. So, uh, then this guy just, uh. Maybe she's not seated. Feels like it. So this is probably not advised. But I'll just kind of compress that guy a little bit. So I can get the threads to bite. Boom. Okay. And did I cross thread it? No. But that is something to be careful of. So, just kind of. That should do it. 
Oh. There we go. So yeah, I probably should have maybe pushed that down a little bit before I stuck it in there. So that looks like it's back together. There's the ball assembled. Uh, the rest of this is super simple. Um, here is that front piece. You notice I have that back guy kind of loosely where it was before. Hopefully that's a good position for it. It seems like that's where it belongs. I imagine it's gonna be somewhat kind of self-centering once these guys get through it in, so it's screwed in. So there's that one has a little bit of a concave uh, that sits on the ball, so it's gonna go in just like so. And then this guy, all these O-rings were in good shape. And all the machining on the inside of this valve is just as nice as everything on the outside of their stuff. Um, so we'll just run that down gently. Uh, I would imagine you have to get these two Gorilla tight because um, of the O-rings. Um, and then these guys just uh, simply pop in and out. And they're they don't see any kind of wear really on them or uh, any major issues. And these two pieces look to be identical to me. So it's that concave bit there. And uh, yeah, screw it back together. It's really simple. Um, if I was a better uh, YouTuber or videographer, I would tell you what size Allen key this was. And I might've grabbed like a, like a wrench <laughs> and told you, you know, it's a, you know, a, you know, 18 millimeter or something like that. Uh, but I just used a crescent because I'm an ogre. So that's it. Hand tight. And then uh, actually probably should, I think, run this guy down first. So tighten him up. That should be snug enough. Uh, that might have some... Uh, some bearing on how this guy operates, actually. I don't know, it feels pretty sweet. Um, that's about where it was before. Like I said, we don't wanna go too, too crazy. Um, and then these guys, and they're all the same size, whatever it is. That's gotta be good. That's that one's a little bit different size. I lied. Um, we'll give it a little. That's got to be more than enough. Um, you know, one thing you want to make sure your handle is right, you know, so it's uh, put on properly. And so facing forward, all are open. So yeah, that's it. You take uh, this set screws. If anyone's still watching, I appreciate it. Definitely, guys, thank everyone that comments and, uh, you know, likes. Uh, and who wants to share the videos, please share it. Um, I don't know why I don't share more. I'm a, I'm a little embarrassed. I don't know. Um, I'm not trying to make people angry. There's definitely...